the image of God who created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heaven, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Together, Psalm 128, which is found in the Lord's service today. Blessed are all those who fear the Lord, and walk in His ways. You shall eat the fruit of the toil of your hands. It shall go well with you, and happy shall you be. Your wife within your house shall go together through the line. Your children round your table, like fresh olive branches. Thus shall the one be blessed, who fears the Lord. The Lord of the proud of Zion bless you, that he may see Jerusalem in prosperity all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, and may there be peace upon Israel. Thank you. 
day where marriage isn't necessary for a lot of the things that it used to be considered socially correct for. Mason and Franny gave sufficient answer, so I decided that they need to marry. The, the fact is that I've known really the two of you for, for a fairly long time, and you've been together the entire time. I've known you, it's about eight years. Yeah. So, so, you know, I, I thought eight years ago I came to St. Andrews, and this kid that wasn't a stencil showed up at church on a semi-regular basis. And as we were having that, as we were talking, I come to realize that they had been dating on for seven years. So it seems that this might work out. <laughs> Mason and Franny, the one thing I, I, I want you to remember is that you have chosen to make your commitment to one another before God. As it says in the liturgy, the vows that you're taking today are not to be taken one day. I don't believe for a moment that you are taking The vows that you take today are for better and for worse. And the worse will come. For sickness and in health, there's a reason sickness goes first. There will be good times and there will be bad times. And when you hit the bad times, remember that you chose to make your vows today with your God and your friends. Because that's where you need to go for strength in the bad times. It's easy to honor God during the good times. It's easy when we're feeling blessed be thankful. It's more difficult to look to God when things are going bad. But things go bad. The place you can go for support always, of course, family is important for health. And God is always there and He always has the perfect answer. And He won't always bring you out of the storm. Promises to bring you through the storms. And oftentimes, the storms, the hard times, are what really make us stronger and make, will, will make you grow stronger. I think I, I, think I can say that out of experience. So, basically, you know I promised you 30 or 45 minutes for the next few years. If you are ready to take those vows, please.
Holy Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Mason and Francesca, a symbol of an ending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow and covenant which they have made this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. God and before this congregation, Mason and Francesca have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving of and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those who God has joined together, let no one put asunder.
God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. And I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Mason, for...